This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. I have the announcements this morning. The first thing I have is Sharon Dutton. Sharon Dutton. Good morning. Uh, the Presbyterian women uh, would like to invite all of the women of the church. I think you, most of you have received uh, a card. We're going to have a unity and fellowship luncheon on February the 11th at 12 o'clock uh, with the Grace United uh, Methodist women, uh, the Salvation Army women, and the Bakersville women. And these are... Um, several luncheons that we will have with Christian women uh, in the community for luncheons of fellowship and unity to bring us together in Christ. And Alice Hoover will be the program for the day and that we can have fellowship and learn more about one another. Thank you. Thank you, Sharon. I do have a few announcements to highlight that will turn the back part of your bulletin. Uh, the loose offerings today are go to the Board of Deacons, and as the newly elected moderator of the Board of Deacons, is, of course, near and dear to my heart, so open up your wallets and throw your extra dollars and, and quarters and pens. Uh, the flowers this morning are given in memory of Hazel and Bob Cochran by John and Judy Addy, uh, Miller. Uh, the Youth Super Bowl of Carry Collection will not be today, it will be next Sunday. So please save all your Super Bowl winnings from the <laughs> <Day. laughs> And bring that next Sunday for the uh, Super Bowl trade. But that goes to Salvation Army. It's, again, a very important part of, uh, of our missions. Uh, lunch, of course, the meeting, the following worship. You do not have to have reservations. Just show up in, in the dining hall and the uh, And we will often will do this step of that lunch. Immediately after lunch will be the annual meeting. As usual, we short and sweet. <laughs> Monday night, the session meeting at 7 o'clock. <coughs> Friday night is the deadline, deadline for the Carolina information. And also, Friday night is fun night. And the information is in the bulletin. Uh, if you have any uh, other questions on it, you can call the Tech. And then next Saturday is uh, work day for the PW women. Call me if you have questions on that. Presbyterian luncheon of the chair of this class. That's all the announcements I had. Good morning. It's obvious that things are different up front today. John Carlisle is in Columbus at Mount Carmel East. Hospital. They had a concern yesterday relating to a potential heart problem. The twin brother uh, has been through this, and so uh, Carlisle's just decided we're going to go and get this taken care of. So the latest word is from Brent Portius, all tests thus far have, have been provided, have been, they're negative, they're negative, they're negative, and um, hopefully they will be coming home the last part of the day. So, that's good news, and we are hopeful that, that you will remember John and Sue in, in your prayers, and that this increasingly good news will continue. Praise God. Praise God.
have to walk away, walk in the way of this people saying, do not cause conspiracy, all that this people call conspiracy, and do not fear what it fears, but be in dread. But the Lord of hosts, him you shall regard as holy. Let him be your fear, and let him be your dread. He will become a sanctuary, a stone one strikes against. For both houses of Israel, he will become a rock one stumbles over, a trap and a snare for the inhabitants of Jerusalem. And many among them shall stumble, and they shall fall and be broken, and they shall be snared and taken. Bind up the testimony, seal the teaching among the disciples. And then
And then he appeared to Cephas, then to the twelve. Then he appeared to more than 500 sisters and brothers at one time, most of whom are still alive, though some have died. Then he appeared to James, then to all the apostles. And last of all, as to someone untimely born, he appeared also to me. For I am the least of the apostles fit to be called an apostle because I persecuted the church of God. But by the grace of God, I am what I am, and his grace toward me has not been in vain. On the contrary, I worked harder than any of them, though it was not I but the grace of God that is with me. Whether then it was I or they. So we proclaim, and so you have come to believe. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen. You can guess that since I'm leaving the pulpit, what I have to say is I'm going to take that long. <laughs> Our love, 
in our discipleship. And I, and I decided John was good enough to put these thoughts down on paper. And so when I talk to him, I will urge him to respond to these particular questions. One, one more thought. I was really encouraged when I first came here. Let's see, how many years ago was that? But anyway, <laughs> some of you may be familiar with Dietrich Bonhoeffer. He was a German Protestant and very shortly before the end of World War II, Dietrich Bonhoeffer was let go. Finney. <coughs> but what I want to do is share with you, I was very taken, and, and this was here when I came. So it's been a long time that I looked at it any chance I have. Dietrich Bonhoeffer, as I said, was a, was a German Protestant pastor. And he said, preach as never sure to preach again. Preach as a dying man to dying men. Preach as dying man to dying men. And any time that I'm up here in this pulpit, I am always taken by and feel so heartwarmed. When I, when I read that statement. So, I've given you an assignment to hold on to your bulletin and bring it with you next Sunday. And hopefully, John will deal with some of the questions that he was promoting. He should be, he should be grateful that I'm giving him some thoughts for his sermon. <laughs> And with that, I'm finished. <laughs> I halfway expected it. <laughs> but unfortunately, I can't decide who said it. Let us pray. No, God, in these brief moments, we have heard Hopefully, you speaking to each of us. May that which is said, may that which is done, find favor in your sight. Through Jesus Christ our Lord we pray. Amen.
make an offering, you suddenly remember and realize your friend's message against you, abandon your offering, leave immediately, go to this friend, and make things right. Then, and only then, come back and work things out with God. We'll receive this morning's offering.
beginning right here, going to the Father, the corners of the earth. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Today, we have that unique opportunity to come to the table of our Lord, to share in fellowship and in the sacrament of our Lord's Supper. Jesus said, I am the bread of life. That person who comes to me will never feel distraught. Then Jesus said, I am the vine, you are the branches. Apart from me, you can do nothing. And so, oh God, we gather here to celebrate the sacrament of the Lord's Supper. Our prayers, first and foremost, will reach out to John C. Carlisle. We rejoice in the apparently good news which is coming their way, and therefore it's coming our way. And so continue to be to each of them and, and their families. May they be a source of strength and support watching over, caring for them in your own good way. Yes, O oh God, we, we humbly ask your blessing upon all who have special needs this day. We pray in the name of Jesus. 
can sustain each person who is a part of this wonderful church family. The re evidence of God, of your constant care and concern. We give you thanks and praise through Jesus Christ our Lord. He taught us what we pray to say together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us all our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not
Almighty itself, he said, this cup is the new covenant poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. As you drink of this cup, remember me.
together, having feasted at the table of our Lord, I ask that we turn and look to God in prayer. Let us pray. Almighty God, for every evidence of your loving care, your watchful concern, we truly give you thanks and praise. May thanksgiving continue to be the dominant theme in our lives. In the name of him whom we affirm to be our Savior and our Lord, even Jesus the Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. <laughs>